Hey fellow furniture dorks, I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Collection and Rave Home Staging. And uh, I got Sue with me today. Teresa is still off. She's going to be off all week. Um, she had planned vacation and she took a couple extra days because uh, she worked Black Friday as well. So I'm, I'm here painting this piece. We thought we'd mix it up. Wednesday is usually our thrift haul day, but I had this beautiful piece that I knew it would take me several days to paint. And I thought you might enjoy joining me with the process. So um, this is really my focus today is we're going to, I'm actually going to do three days of this. Uh, so hopefully I do today, tomorrow, and then finish it up on Friday. That's my hope. Uh, but today, anyway, we're definitely going to get the base down in this. We're going to be doing blending. And then, so you want to grab the transfer? You want to show them the transfer? So we're going to be adding the seaweed transfer to this. And if you can be sure to turn it around so they can see what the images look like on the back. Try to turn that down just a little bit. There they are. Awesome. La, 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 la. So there's four panels, and I'll be adding one panel to each of the four doors. And I want to give this a nice, beautiful coastal look. This was an old china cabinet where the top actually, um, it didn't have a top. It was the china cabinet sat on it, and this was all open. So we had Nick, our maker at Rave Home Staging, add a top for us. And we're going to go ahead and start the blending process on this. This is my goal, is to be a beautiful blended coastal piece. And so we're using Dixie Belt today. I'm going to take my leather shoes off, actually. It'll be a little easier to, to sit here on the floor and paint without screwing up my shoes. You know, Don't leather. Right and we're back in the back paint room today instead of on the floor, mostly because the floor is padded. <laughs> and then I didn't have to sit on the concrete. It scooch is around. more comfortable. Didn't have to scooch around the concrete. And also, Therese is not here for the next few days, so it made sense for me to go ahead and paint back here. I'm not in her way. So we're gonna start with Dixie Bell's Bunker Hill Blue. And I'm gonna start by basically framing out the doors with this Bunker Hill Blue, which is very similar to the color in the transfers. What's my purpose here today? I don't know what your purpose is here today. Do you wanna frame out the doors over there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing today. I can, I can give you a brush. Or not. Or not. in there. Yeah, and I haven't cleaned out the inside or anything. Uh, all right. Well, I see dust on here. I should clean it. So I'm just, and I'm not doing this super neat because ultimately, again, blending all of this. So um, there'll be some other colors going on top of this. They'll be kind of pulling in around the middle. So you're blending everything today, is that what you're saying? Yeah, this will be a blended piece. Today I'm just starting with the base coat. Oh. And I'm using the Bunker Hill Blue to sort of frame out the doors. Not all the way framing them, but mostly framing them. I'm going to do all of the sort of side areas here. Alright, so I'm going to do what you're doing? Yep. You're Thanks for the finger paint. You're welcome. It's awfully kind of you. That's how I roll. See this? You see that? That's what I get. I get paint on my fingers. This is how I roll. I'm a messy painter. We all know this by now. You missed it the day that you were absent this week. On Monday. When, when you was, spilled? When I was here by myself and I spilled coffee all over the floor. I, I watched that. You watched that. Were you like, oh my god, what is wrong with her? I think that's when I apologize for not being there. <laughs> like you got to keep everything in reach then and, well, you know, maybe not your coffee. So, um, it's, uh, hump day, hump day, hump day. We got all our Black Friday sales done. We got our Cyber Monday done. Is everybody's Christmas done? Mine is not. Oh, hell no, mine is not. John did tell me that he has finished shopping for me. So, Rashonda, if you're there. <laughs> we'll see if he listens. Maybe he got the hint. Who knows? Sometimes it's hard to stay with him. Up around the doors? Yeah, not fully around. I mean, like all the way around the doors, but it doesn't have to fully be the whole outside frame, but at least some of the outside frame. Because again, it 
it's blending. This is just the base. This is going to be one of those projects that's going to get way ugly before it gets pretty. You're going to see some horror. When we leave here today, there will be horror. <laughs> You'll be like wondering, what the hell is wrong with these people? Take a perfectly good piece of furniture and you do that to it. Why? Why? Yeah, Why? You, might, you might be wondering that today. Triple whammy this year, according to, I'm assuming, is your husband. What? Your husband says triple whammy this year. Triple whammy? What does that mean? I think he got you three gifts. Ooh. He's got, he's got it. He's going to make up for it big time. Sounds like a plan to me. I like, I like making up for it. Making up is fun, right? All right, so I'm going to go along this door here. Yeah. I'm just going to paint my phone. Don't paint my phone. Don't paint phone. Well, I hate my phone, and I wouldn't mind painting my phone. That's not what today's task is. That is not today's task. My phone is in the are, are having arguments. It's true. I hear them. Every we, day. We are in big dispute, my phone and I. It's, it's very true. I hear them argue every day, pretty much. Okay, so now um, I'm going to let her finish that side, and I'm going to go for some burlap, which is a Dixie Belle color also. And I'm going to mostly fill in my panels with burlap. Burlap in panels. Yeah, this is going to teach me how to blend, right? Uh, theoretically, uh -huh. theoretically, if you let me do it. Well, I mean, I'll let you do it. I screw up. Well, this is a piece going on the floor, and both sides do have to look the same. <sighs> it gets so complicated. I know. But you've blended before. You've done a good job blending before. You did that, um, that, uh, what piece was the, the red and the blue. Red um, blue. it was very boho. Uh, there's a bookcase. Oh, the, okay, 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 okay. I kind of blended on that one, didn't I? I saw some water And brush. I put the, the stencils on the side. A little too much water. My brush is splashing a little. Oh, fine, yes. So we keep our, Dix, our, our Dixie Bell, our Klingon brushes. So we keep Dixie Bell in the fridge. Oh, not in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> See, neither of us know what's happening today. Um, we keep our Klingons in water. Um, in the kitchen here, and I didn't. I thought I rinsed out this one enough, but I clearly did not. Oh, and, no. you, and you notice as I'm pulling, I'm really not at all worried that I'm bringing the blue into the center, or that I'm kind of messy out on the frame here. It'll, it'll all be fine in the end. I promise. Always what they say. Who the heck is calling me now? Bye bye. They clearly aren't watching me. Hello? Okay, clearly not the bye either. Apparently, she felt the need to take that. Who knows what's going on? Oh, I have so much Christmas shopping left to do, so I've done Almost none of it. And if that's not enough, Sue's birthday is December 15th. Phoebe, my granddaughter's birthday is December 15th. Um, my son-in-law's birthday is this Saturday. Um, who else's birthday is coming up? John's birthday is in January. Both of my grandsons are in January. Oh, that was sort of important, so sorry. Right, did you go around the side? Um, what side? Did you go around the side? Yes, I did. Oh, then I'm scooting around. So, anyway. Uh, so, I've got a lot of birthdays and stuff to catch up on, too. Not just Especially Christmas in shopping. December. Yes, December, I know. Such an important birthday month. 
Yes, I already said your birthday is coming up. Just so y'all know, my birthday is coming up. And I said that you share a birthday with my granddaughter. I do. No, she shares it with me because I came first. No selfishness here. Nope. No. She's going to, okay, you're going to go that way. I'll go this way. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's nothing new about that. Melissa, did you just get dissed? Um, it's very <laughs> likely that I just got dissed. I got dissed. Uh, I get me. dissed all the time. By me? But I? I don't know. I don't know, man. There's no respect around here for me. For you? Please. Mm -hmm. When we're doing a project together, who gets hurt? You're just never prepared in case of emergency. Uh huh. And who creates the emergencies? Uh, not me. Mm hmm. You don't follow the directions that I give. As you're creating the emergency? Create it. It happens. It just happens. It just happens that I'm always the one who gets hurt. It just happens. Somehow. Well, yeah. it's not me. Hopefully you can already start to see the vision here. I realize we're way early in and it's going to get a lot worse. Let's see. Oh my God, Sue, you are another Wilson grandchildren with a December birthday. Yes. God bless the December Indians. The December Indians? Is that what you guys call yourselves? I call myself. All right, now what am I doing? Um... Hang out for a minute. I'm hanging out. Hanging out. Can't even see me on camera because I'm like way over here. Here, paint the paint the middle of that. Paint it where Actually, go get a heat gun and an extension cord. I can do things like that. That'll be good. I have mad skills. She gets skills. a heat gun and an extension cord. That'll be helpful. Yeah, crawl around for that. Look, Rashonda respects you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad somebody respects me around here. I mean, technically you're not around here, but... If she was around here, she'd probably... Diss me like the rest of y'all? <laughs> I'm like, what was his name? Rodney Dangerfield? There's no respect. No respect at all. Oh my goodness. I see we got a new uh, extension cord. Do we? Oh, we do. We didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I don't know about it. So we're also, so now Black Friday is over, Cyber Monday is over, Small Business Saturday is over, Small all of those are over. Small Business Saturday should be extended until the end of the year. So, so now Ann and I were preparing, you know what comes next is inventory. <laughs> so, so Anna and I have been discussing, uh, we're going to have a big inventory blowout at the store because we don't want to count it all. I might run and get that craftsman because I really like that one. Better. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. All right. Uh, I shall <laughs> return. Rashawn just says she almost spit her coffee out loud. So how did I do by myself on Monday? Did I did I hold my own? Did I do all right? Did you like the project? Oh my gosh. We have decided, I have made it. I have put it on the calendar. We are putting up Christmas decorations on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Um, we are absolutely getting Christmas decorations up on Sunday. I have enough of this. Uh, last year, last year we really didn't get them up at all. I got a tree down, but it never got ornaments on it. It did get lights, but it never got ornaments on it. This year, you just want the world, don't you? This year, I'm calling for decorations. Why? Because we need a little Christmas right this very minute. 
was discussing this song with the girls the other day. I never, I don't think I ever really paid attention to all the words to that song. And it's, cause I've grown a little colder, grown a little older. Seriously? Grown a little meaner. Have you? That's the words to the song. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, really? Those are the words? How come I've never noticed this before? All right, so I'm the one that's on screen, and I'm doing nothing. What can I be doing? I'm so on screen, aren't I? Kind no, of? not really. No, not really? Okay. I could turn oh, that camera. Here, fill in that little corner over there, because I just made a big mess over here. What? Don't be making On the much. side. Fill in the corner. The, the big panel on the side. Oh, on the side over there. None of us will be on screen. Yeah, we'll be back. I'll, I'll start drying some of this. Um, so you don't always have to dry this. You can kind of go to the next one wet a little bit. But I am. Ideally, you do kind of want them to dry so you don't just add more paint and lift off what's underneath. A lot of it has already dried just because the piece is so big. And I know, like, Brandy likes to work in sections. I think CC works in sections as well. Um, and that's really useful on camera, I will say. But if I work in sections like that, I can't promise the whole thing will look the same. Because I find that my painting changes based on the mood I'm in. <laughs> that is so true. And so if I'm not in the same mood when I did this panel, it will look different than that panel. Best to just get them all done when you're in the right mood. The same mood. At least the same mood. We don't know what the right mood is. Yeah, I don't quite know what the right mood is. I was mentioning the other day that my watch um, tells me tells me what my blood pressure is or my resting heart rate is I guess not my blood pressure my resting heart rate and it goes down when my resting heart rate lowers when I'm painting which is good so apparently I find this like meditative it is oh well thank you Rashonda as well as uh, thank saying that my you like my projects on Monday and uh, hi Heidi Ann Welcome, welcome. So we are turning this buffet. I don't look like that. Used to be, huh? I don't look like that. You don't look like that. How do you look like that? I don't know. Blendy looking up here. Oh, well, I can fix that later. So look, my hair. I just realized my hair. My hair. My hair. It matches. It matches. It matches what I'm working on. Always important to match your hairstyle with your piece. That's right. It helps. It helps get you in the spirit, I suppose. Ugh. So I'm going to add a little bit of, um, this is Haint Blue. I feel like we just had a conversation about this. We did. We did Haint Blue last weekend. Last week. Last week's, uh, what did we paint? I don't remember. Teresa was doing a How did you get jewelry box. Down here. I'm going to consider that part of your wet brush. Yeah. Catastrophe. Um, so Charlie says the cat just jumped on the keyboard. She heard the heat gun and came running. <laughs> it's not a can opener. <laughs> so I'm going to mist this a little bit with, and then I'm going to just use my blue, the brush that I had for the blue and put it right into the haint blue. And then I'm going to kind of go and it is going to pull, you know, I'm going to have the, the darker blue, the bunker faux blue in here. So I'm just going to kind of go. And again, sort of do these doors. Do I need to pour paint in a separate container for you? So you do not contaminate this whole thing of paint. Um, if that would make you feel better. You know it would, because I like that. I'm up and at them again, guys. She's such a worrywart. I want paint. It's important. Uh-oh. Somebody's got Usher going on in the background. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever 
realized that the need a little Christmas right now was was quite so. I mean, I don't want to say it's angry, but <laughs> well, let's face it. We all get to a point in life where we're just not looking forward to it, damn it. No, she's saying she needs it right now because she is angry and she needs the happiness. Do some All of right, this. Hide the burlap. In here. And it's going to be super streaky. Where's the blue? Is it behind you? I don't want you to knock it over. Okay. Okay. Um, it's super streaky and like I'm totally fine with that. I'm covering up the burlap that I put on there, but don't worry because when we get through all this, it, it somehow all comes together. I promise. This is, remember I said this is going to look super ugly before it gets to looking nice. Hopefully you remember that I said that. Hopefully you remember that you said that. Oh, I'm going to stick my hair in the doggone paint. There are definitely times when, when I'm done for the day and I've been blending and I'm like, oh, I hope this comes out okay. When, when I'm starting to second guess myself. Sean is not a blue person, but she likes the hate blue. And thank you very much for that. You're welcome. That was greatly appreciated. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was my devious laugh. Did you hear it? I misted Sue Ann. Oh, I've been misted. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, you were misted. You want to try this over there? I don't know. I don't like that little nook in there. It's okay. It's okay. I, uh, <laughs> I okay. All right. You're going to try over there. What am I doing? Okay. You're going to mist and everywhere you're going to cover up basically all your burlap, but you're going to start on the outside. Out here? Uh-huh. And work my and way And work in. your way in. Am I allowed to scratch Actually, that? I'm going to have you use this brush first. What's this one doing? It's got a little more blue in it, so left over. I'm going to dip in there, and then you're going to basically outline, kind of like you did before. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You probably need some more paint. Shh, 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 shh. Do you want me to teach you or not? Uh, she says she wants to learn, and then. And then. And she doesn't want to listen to it. The edification. I did take the hardware off. A lot of times when I do blending, I don't. Um, the hardware is really pretty. And I'll decide if I want to use the regular hardware or we took out this hardware that we have also. Um, so we'll decide if we want to go back to the original hardware or if we want to add these colorful knobs. Not quite sure yet. Doing a pretty good job there. A little more coverage, please. A little more paint. A little more paint. A little more paint. You stop being so stingy. You're a little more paint. Do you see the lack of respect I get? Jeez. So let's see. Are you blending today? Yes, I am. You watch a bunch of Chris dramas. It is and learn how to blend correctly. Yeah, so I'm blending, but I'm not blending the same way that she is. I'm blending more like the turquoise iris. All right, what more do I need to do? Okay, you're good there. I don't okay. want to just keep painting. So, so then you can side. do that side and I'll do this side. Do you need a cup of paint too? Um, no. Do you need to mist your book? mess up my paint again aren't you no i would never i would never Look, do that i'm trying to keep things nice neat and orderly here i would never do that all right so around the edges heidi ann says blue is her favorite color yeah there's so many different blues there's so much fun to play with um yellow is my favorite color it's so bright and happy 
I do love this Hank Blue, though. It is very pretty. I love, like, a good cone flower blue. That makes me happy. Is yellow your favorite because then people don't stay very long? <laughs> Somebody learned something. Um, it's almost like you, it's almost like you've heard of me before. Did you, did you ask that question or did somebody actually ask that question? I don't have anything to tell you who asked that question other than me. I asked it. You asked it? I mean, you do know me pretty well, so that could actually be it. But, but I didn't know that when I was a kid when it became my favorite color, so... Oh, so you've hung on to it for all these years? I have hung on to it for all these years. Gosh, I keep changing my favorite color. I don't think I have a favorite color. Yellow has been my favorite color since I was a little girl. Um, I loved bright yellow dresses. I always wanted yellow dresses for Easter. And my mother hated when I wanted bright yellow dresses because my mother always said that my eyes, um, because they're blue, that I should have blue dresses. So she always wanted me to wear basically blue dresses like this Hank Blue all the time. And, well, I was a little girl. I didn't really care that it matched my eyes. I wanted it to be the color that I wanted I it to be. The pretty yellow. The pretty yellow, exactly. All right, what am I doing next? Okay. Um, you want to come do this panel? Over on the side? Over on the side. I thought that's what you were doing. No, I'm doing this panel. I didn't because I was watching you. Why are you watching me? Because I was teaching you. Pardon me, people. Pardon Do me. you see what I have to put up with? Well, I'm just particularly sassy today. She is sassy. I don't know that you're particularly sassy today. This seems <laughs> like your, your normal level of sassy with me. You're just not normally here with a paintbrush. Now, because of the way that we're blending, there's no way that it can be 100% perfect where every, every section looks exactly the same. Part of what I like about this is actually them all looking a little bit different. Today, I am mostly about base coating. Um, we'll see how far along I get. Friday, for sure, we'll be adding the transfers and maybe doing a dry brush on top. But I also want to do some, after the transfers, I want to do some, um, some blending of wax, so we'll see. It may be a smidge of gilding. Did Sue get fired today? Did Sue get fired today? I never get fired. <laughs> I am not Heather. I do not get fired every day. I refuse to allow that to happen. I have to live with her. I mean, I don't have to live with her. That's true. You can kick me out at any time. I can kick you out at any time. <laughs> but Sue is my BFF even though this is how she treats me. Hey. All right, I think I got this side. Hey what? Hey is for horses. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. So now I have some sawmill gravy, which is another mm -hmm. nice neutrally color. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of in the middle, but working on the outer sides. We're not leaving puddles of paint on the floor that I'm scooting through. because you know, We are not. I like my little overalls here. We are not. So I'm going to just do some basic streaks here. I am not going to do any particular pattern. I'm just going to do some streaking. And they call her the streak. And they call the fastest thing on two feet. Well, maybe not. I don't think anybody I don't think anybody thinks of me that way, Sue Ann. 
I can almost guarantee that. I'm actually going to add a little bit to the bottoms here, too. Is there anybody born in the 70s that remembers that song? Nope. You don't remember that song? Nope. That would have been, like, early to mid-70s? And that was, like, the closest thing you had to hope on. Probably mid-70s. I laughed so hard when Heather told me that a customer came in and said, oh, you're the one who gets fired every day. <laughs> yeah. We don't put her on camera, you know, because she gets fired every day. What are you going to do with that? I mean... And now you're going up, up, up with the with that color. Do I need another brush then? Uh, you can say another brush. Or you can wait and I'll do the yeah, you should get another brush. Oh, get ready to take a nap. Oh, no napping. A nap. Everybody needs a nap. It's good napping weather. It's actually cold out here. It's been beautiful. Although I did tell her I might take a nap today. The she called. What song? Rashawn is asking what song. The they call her the streak. They, they, they call him the streak. They call him the streak. That's the song she's asking if anybody remembers. And she was just singing it. They call him the streak, the fastest thing on two feet. And that's the extent of my knowledge because that's what she sang. That's what she sang. No, wrong, wrong show. Um, so I'm just, I'm not being particular necessarily about where I'm putting this. I'm just trying to add some, some other color. This is, again, this is just kind of, feeling out where I want the layering to go. We're gonna add um, a bunch of blues, taupes, and whites, and kind of make this nice and blendy. And then um, at the end, the transfers will go on, it'll get distressed, and then I'll do some more with waxes. Will you, will you really? All right. So yes, I really will. Yes, yes, I will. All right, so what am I doing? I'm going... So you're really... I mean, you can try to mirror this if you want, but it's not It's not important that it's... That but it's I need a, to miss spots. I'm not covering everything. Yeah, you're, we're just going to do, like, just some kind of... Yeah, just sort of spots. Like, like just get spot. a tiny bit on your brush and move it around. That's true. She she wants to she wants like full on. Whatever. Oh look, I got one of my hair. Or not? Could be one of mine. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's blue now, so if it's blue, it could be my it hair. Except for we it. just painted blue, so then it makes it much harder to to determine. Yeah, sort of like that. Yep, just like. But maybe some at the bottom. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, just remember, you're not covering the whole thing. I want to. I know that you want to cover the whole thing. Because that's how you roll, lady. That's how it is. It's how you It's how you bees. Boogie. Oh. Boogie. 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 Yeah. Oh. Love that song. What was the guy's name? I've been trying to think about that, and I keep wanting to say Ray. Ray. Do I want to say Ray? Am I Ray. wrong about Ray? Ray. Ray Ray. No. Ray Ray? I don't feel like that's right. I don't know. But what do I know? I've never heard of this song. The comedian guy. Uh, Ray Stevens? Ray Stevens, am I right? Ray Stevens? Ray Stevens? Do I get a prize? Do I? Huh? Huh? I like prizes. She might have had too much coffee today. I did have a few cups of coffee today. So now I'm going to add some Savannah Mist. So I really pulled out a whole bunch of colors. And you'll notice I haven't changed paintbrushes. And that's because it's really not that important for me to do that because I'm trying to blend kind of all of these colors together. Do I want to do the side panel? Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Am I, I'm 
You get down here. It gets harder and harder to get up, doesn't it? Lord have mercy. Does anybody understand my old age? No, I have a squirt bottle. I don't know. I don't know where they've all run away. Teresa organized we everything. Of them. Teresa organized them and then they walked away. And I think only she knows how she organized them. But they were here on this shelf here. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, why did you go through the trouble of painting all of that dark blue if you're just going to cover it again? Because life is fun that way. Life can be fun that way. Life is fun that way. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to, as I layer these out, we're going to add a little bit more of that blue. We're going to throw some water on it and have it run a little bit so that some of the colors that are behind come forward. And then we're going to layer over that so that it's not straight up streaks, that there's the streaks kind of shine through other layers. So this gets to be a super, super um, layered piece and it's going to have dark areas, but it's going to slowly get wider because we've got cotton up here, Dixie Bell's cotton. And with the cotton, we're good, that's going to be our final coat and that's going to brighten the whole piece. The cotton and the hate blue will really be the primary colors on the top, but you'll see all these other colors kind of peeking through the, la the layers. Oh, that looks neat from back here. Now, my husband hates this style of painting. He feels it's very messy. Just doesn't get it. I love this style of painting. I think, like, this is one of the most fun ways to paint, in my opinion. It sort of is with complete abandon. I just don't think I have enough blue on this side panel. What do you mean? I mean, when I painted this side panel over here, it didn't pull in all the blue as much as it had the oh, burlap. Really? We can add more. We can add more later. All right. That's the beauty. We can add more. Well, anyway, here's that. Ugh. So did anybody see the piece? It's been, it's probably been a couple years old now, um, but it's one of my favorite pieces that she painted. And, I, and I've watched it probably about four times. The episode where Jamie Ray did the big armoire for the, like, it was like a, it was like a big boho piece. And um, it was like Terry, you got to do some of the bottom and stuff. Too. Oh, I didn't realize we were working. We were with doing that. that with the with both the light beige and then the and then coming back with the. Uh, oh, so I gotta do all the top up there too. Yeah. Gosh, which one? So first so you gotta one? do this one, yeah. Yeah, first you gotta do this, this one. one. Well, stop pushing these at me. I've got mine. All right, so I'm doing. figure it all out eventually. She will. That's true. She will. That's good because I was looking at this thinking it needed something. Yeah, because it, you know, needs something. Have you blended like this before? Um, How did you do? Did you like it? Did you freak out? Because I freak out. I absolutely freak out. Um, yeah, this is a point, this is actually kind of very close to a point where she starts freaking out because this is where I break out like a squirt bottle full of watered down paint or something and just start spraying it all over it. This is where I freak out because I'm afraid I'm going to overwater. I guess you can't really overwater. I mean, you can, but no. I don't know. I don't know. Back in just a little bit. Of I just like freaking out. She does. Sometimes that's true also. Decided I'm a drama queen in my old age. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. That's a possibility. So, and I don't really necessarily have 
a particular, like I'm not trying to make this symmetrical in any way. Um, I'm just kind of feeling how, how I want the paint to layer and how I want it to blend out. It'll all be super blendy when it's done. And I do want it to look like highlights and contrasts and all that. I want you to be able to see all the different colors that I'm using in the end. And I love, I love blending with um, DIY paint, except, and this is my big except. Um, Cause I, we don't sell DIY paint here, um, but I still have a bunch. I kind of stopped blending with it and started blending with these because the one thing that I don't like about the DIY paint, although I think the paint is amazing, is that you can't determine what color it's going to be before it dries or when it dries. Because when you're putting it on, it is a different color. Now, again, I think that's just experience with the product. After so long, you realize what it's going to dry to. But when you're new, you don't expect it to dry so doggone light. Right. Because, man, that stuff dries light. And so kind of I feel like I don't ever know when I'm done because I can't, I feel like I can't see the finished product before, before adding a top coat. And then you can't fix it once you've added the top coat, so... You're gonna add this savanna so not mist. This blue. No, the savanna mist, pink. which is more like a gray blue. As a matter of fact, when you put it on, it's gonna look really gray. Oh, Lord. All right, and I'm spraying and misting and. Yep, you're spraying and misting. No, I always just assume these people like spraying their spray bottle, but then realize how important it is because this stuff dries fast. Same thing, same areas? Yeah. Well, I've kind of got the wood on top. We don't, don't want me getting the wood on top, right? I mean, I prefer you not to. I kind of really did. Really good, too. I mean, I said we'd probably have to dry brush it, so. Oh, good. I got that going for me. Good Lord, I know I put paint on there. It didn't look like come off. So there's a, um, I'm part of the Turquoise Iris Creative Connection Group, and Dion has issued a new furniture painting challenge oh, for boy. the group. Not that I've managed to compete in any of the challenges yet. I've discussed them, but I haven't actually done the work yet, so I haven't, I haven't submitted anything. But this month, the challenge is to add, so last month the challenge was to um, have black as your base and then layer over it. This month it's to have, um, to add fluorescent Ooh. to your paint. Where's Miss Chris when we need her? Right? Oh, Roshana says, weird seeing Jamie do boho. Yes, and I found when she was doing that particular piece it was scary as all get out. Like, I'm like, oh my God, what is she doing? Like I'm practically yelling at the TV thinking, oh, this is not, this is not a good thing. And then when it was done, it was stunning. So it is one of those, you kind of have to just trust in the process. Let's see, Rashonda says, I've never done this type before. Did something like it with palette knives, but not the spring drippy. I may try it on a smaller piece. And then she also says, love the bottom left, Melissa. Um, this over here, yeah, it's it's like, it's we're starting to see some of it coming together. It still has a long way to go, but you can kind of start to feel the blend out a little more. It's a little less streaky. Again, guys, I'm, I'm not feeling the love on that one though. Come on, come on now. Um, again, you kind of have to 
you know, just have faith in the process and know that it's gonna, it's not gonna be pretty on the in-betweens. I was doing a table recently and, and I was dry brushing it, but I was kind of trying a new technique with it. And I'm like, okay, so now we're in the ugly phase. Yeah, bless. I keep getting the top. You're just gonna have to dry brush the top. And then I was like, okay, we'll now we're in the, in the I really don't like it phase. And now we're in the hideous phase. And then we did get to a pretty phase um, afterwards. You know, we got to a part that I really liked, but boy, was it touch and go for a little while. Am I doing all right? I feel, I guess you'll start blending that in later, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right now we're just sort of base coating, so. I don't wanna be effing things up as they say. Whoever they are. Whoever they are. What the heck is happening it up? Just throwing them. Who knows? I don't know. I'm an innocent girl. I know nothing. Mm -hmm. Can we take a poll on who believes that? We all believe that. Mm -hmm. Fluorescent. Now that's a challenge I could be on board with, it says Rashonda. <laughs> It felt like something was burning back here when I walked in the door. Yeah, that's us. We're burning something. I like that color. <laughs> Whatever color it might be. Whatever color that is. I haven't figured it out yet. It's some color. But I'm learning. I was going to say, wait, I never really seen Miss Sue blend before. This is an educate Miss Sue day. <laughs> I mean, she has technically blended before. Well, I know she has, but like. But we don't usually see it. I'm going to do it under cover of darkness. <laughs> That's a fact. She does do it under cover of darkness. She's not, she's not exaggerating there. This is when we're, Dawn has karate that night and, and we're here painting late. She'll, she'll decide to do something fun then. Yeah, I was almost thinking about doing my so-called side tables I've been working on for the last six, seven, eight, nine, ten months. How long has it been? It's been. Feels like forever. It's been a little while. I think. I think. I think I've got it over here. I think. Is it time for me to come over? I don't know, maybe. Just throwing some paint on there. Running it in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Does anybody else like slapping their their paintbrush? I swear that's the best. I mean, we're basically almost doing like an abstract painting. Right. Yeah, abstract, all right. Tell me if I did anything wrong. Hang on, here Hang we go. On. Knocking the Ouch. paint over. That was me sitting on the connection for the the heat gun. A huge one. Um, do you want to dry that side over there? Okay. Crawling over. I do like to fun things up. That's a, that's a good F right there. Yeah, there you go. So quiet. Oh. So are you still with us? Do you still have confidence in, in the process here? No. No. <laughs> I'm still with you, but it's the confidence factor that I lack. Instagram, but if not, I'll look and I will post them tonight if I did not. They look very good from afar. We'll say that. Don't be, don't be nitpicking my work, man. Don't be nitpicking oh, my work. Don't be like, oh, you missed something over there. You mean like that? There's just that one spot right here. You mean like that? Is that look, what she means? Look, look. 
I don't nitpick after the fact. I nitpick while you're doing it so you won't have that problem. Well, my chairs look very, very nice. My niece was very, very pleased. The wedding was very, very nice. And then, uh, what, get myself COVID tested just in case yesterday? I passed. Yay? Yay. But boy, was she going to be in trouble if she had COVID. That would be homeless. Living out of my van. Until the COVID passed. pictures up. I got I got a before picture. I got a a struck down picture. I didn't do any I should have I didn't videotape anything I did on it. Yeah, I don't remember you taking any of it. I didn't. But all in all, having never done that before, I did really well. I'm patting myself on the back for that. Yeah, I mean I think she did great, especially again she hadn't done it before. And and the insides of the chair, um, when you take all the all the cloth off of it, for whatever reason they used uh, panels made out of cardboard. No. Oh. And are we so, talking about that now? Well, yeah, why not? Okay. So I, I carefully took all of my little pieces of cardboard off as best I could and debated about whether or not I should keep them or throw them away. Yeah. I kept them. Because I figured there's a reason for it. Uh huh. And after pulling everything apart and all the different layers and memorizing them in my little head, knowing to start on my seat and then working to the this and to the, you know, I, I, I did pretty good on all that. Uh, I did end up having to make some new cardboard panels because apparently some of my cardboard panels on my second chair walked away. Somebody who likes to organize things a lot might have might have gotten rid of them. So I I I worked on it. And we know I don't like to organize anything, so it wasn't me. Always have confidence. Yes, yes, Yvette, I need to always have confidence. Every time you say it's going to get better, it does. <laughs> Trust the process. Trust the process. I love I love it when people are because only on a couple of, of the videos that we watch. Do, do they ever get comments from people going, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You're destroying that piece of furniture. What are you doing? Trust the process. Trust the process. Well, it looks funky doodle now. And there's people who just don't like painted furniture. Well, yeah, yeah. They just don't like it. And, and, I'm, a, and I'm a member of those Facebook pages. And, and that's okay. It's, it's totally fine that you don't like painted furniture. However, um, I can't sell unpainted furniture in my store. Everybody wants painted furniture. The handful of people who don't, they can sit there and complain, but in the end, it's what you want for your home. Okay. It's what you like. So now I'm going to do the scary part because we're just about done for today. Um, we're about five minutes till. And so this is the part, if you're watching, that might terrify you. Uh-oh. So you see I've added in a lot more of the dark blue. By the way, how do you like where it is right now? It's it's definitely not finished, but how do you like the overall patterning? Does it look like a colorful oh. cow to you? What? It's got little cow patches mm -hmm. colored. So now I'm going to go along blue cow. and I'm going to spray it and I'm going to try to get some of this to drip oh. a nice little Heavy. Yeah. Being a wood furniture lover myself, I always find this part scary. Drenching your wood furniture. Um, so I'm gonna let this run. We're not gonna actually have a ton of runs in the in when we're totally complete because I'm gonna again paint over some of this before we're done. Okay. I know that's not my skin on the tip of that thing. What are we burning on there? I think that was the plastic bag of the of the um, glue sticks. Oh dear. 
What? There are puddles of blue forming underneath the piece. But the piece is elevated. Yes, that's what happens. What are you oh dearing? Oh dear. Aren't puddles. I'm oh dearing puddles of paint. I'm oh dearing puddles of paint. Trust the process. Trusting the process. Trusting I'm gonna, since the we're process. just about done, I'm gonna start putting lids on so we okay. knock things over and no, have more puddles paint. of paint. I won't be painting anymore. And I don't know if anybody has seen on, on, on the camera, I don't think you can really see our floors, but we've got um, we've got like inch thick foam on our floors for painting on. Oh my God, if you don't paint on foam, you should paint on this comfortable foam. I will say it is much more comfortable. I don't mind laying out on the floor and painting this way. I'm not sure. getting enough of the blue dripping right here, so I'm just gonna. You want more blue? I'm just gonna add a little. I kind of want more blue dripping in this in this big white field, so. I'm just gonna add more. There we go. Ah, we see drip. Oh, I should probably pour some of this paint back into the little containers. Oh wow! Look at that go. I know if you're freaking out, it's okay. We understand. Believe me. All right, which one is this one? That one's the haint. Oh, blue's way up there. So it's a little bit more of an ambitious project for a Wednesday. Yeah, it's get a close-up of the drippy. I can certainly do that. That certainly will be fun. Let's see what we got here. Let us zoom in. Here, I'll show you the floor while we're at it. See that? It's a fun little wood planky looking floor. All right. Can we see that? Oh, there we go. See some of that dripping? Gives it a crazy look, doesn't it? And then here, you can see it over here dripping. It's like a little paint race. It's gonna <laughs> drip to the bottom first. Oh, it's all running off. All the paint is running away. Okay, I promised you it was gonna be scary before it got good. So this is definitely the scary phase. I promise this is not how we will end this. It is how we will end this today. But tomorrow I'm going to come back. It may not be two. I'm not sure. It'll be Friday. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do some more painting. Oh, okay. So that we can finish on Friday during our regular live. So tomorrow I will come back and I will come on live. I don't know what time. It really has to do with my work schedule because um, it's not a pre-planned. So I will come on live and if you miss it, it'll be here or I'll put it on Facebook. I mean, I'll put it on YouTube. So um, I need to let all of this dry completely in order for me to move on to the next step. So um, watch for us to pop on live unexpectedly, or again, you'll be able to catch it on YouTube as a series. Yep. And uh, we will see you either tomorrow or Friday, depending on when you catch us. And Friday, we'll finish up this piece. Ugh. So um, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you are on um, YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe. Please and do. please share. If you're enjoying this, maybe somebody else you know would enjoy this. So share, share it with other people. Just tune in and make fun of us if you like. Just tune yeah. in. Mm -hmm. You can be just as disrespectful. It's cool. We're used to it. We are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's all right. We're all friends here. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.